Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 28th of August. Protests erupt in India against engineering and medical entrance exams amid pandemic. India slams Pakistan for evading responsibility for Pulwama terror attack. And rescue efforts continue in flood hit Afghan province. And now for all the details. India's main opposition Congress party on Friday launched a nationwide campaign against the central government's decision to conduct medical and engineering entrance exams that are scheduled for early September amid the coronavirus pandemic. Protests were seen in national capital New Delhi, southern Kerala and other states. India's main opposition Congress party on Friday launched a nationwide campaign against the central government's decision to conduct NEED and JE exams that are scheduled for early September amid the coronavirus pandemic. The Congress workers, including members of its student wing, the National Students' Union of India or NSUI, hit the streets to protest against the decision in various cities. The National Testing Agency is scheduled to conduct the NEET medical entrance test on September 13 and joint entrance examination admission to the Premier Engineering Institutes on September 1 to September 6. The exams have been deferred twice in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> Amid a growing chorus for postponement of the entrance exams in view of a spike in number of COVID-19 cases in the country, the National Testing Agency said all steps and precautions will be taken while conducting the exams. India's Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishang earlier also said that over 1.7 million candidates have already downloaded the admit cards for the exams and this shows that the students want the exams to be conducted at any cost. Meanwhile, India on Friday reported a record of daily jump of 77,266 coronavirus infections, taking its total to 3.39 million. India on Thursday slammed Pakistan for evading responsibility for the 2019 Pulwama terror attack and pointed out that the country continues to shelter key accused Masood Azhar, the chief of Jaish e Mohammed terror outfit, on its soil. India on Thursday slammed Pakistan for evading responsibility for the 2019 Pulwama terror attack and pointed out that Jaish e Mohammed or JEM chief. Masood Azhar, a key accused in the case, continues to find shelter in Pakistan. India's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Anurag Srivastav said, a charge sheet has been filed by the National Investigation Agency into the Pulwama attack case after a probe spanning one and a half years, which details how Pakistan-based JEM terror outfit planned and carried out the suicide bombing, which killed 40 personnel of India's paramilitary Central Reserve Police Force. Jaish e Mohammed had claimed responsibility for the Pulwama attacks. The organization and its leadership is in Pakistan. It is regrettable that Masood Azhar, the first accused in the charge sheet, continues to find shelter in Pakistan. We have shared enough evidence with Pakistan, but it continues to evade responsibility. Tensions had flared up between New Delhi and Islamabad as in response to Pulwama attack. India carried out an airstrike on a JEM terrorist training camp in Pakistan's Balakot on February 26, 2019. In news from Pakistan, as an unprecedented monsoon spell continued to batter Pakistan's Karachi on Thursday, at least 19 people were killed in various rain-related incidents, taking the tally of deaths during the three-day monsoon spell in the city to 30. According to meteorological officials, downpours in August have shattered 89-year-old records for the city. 
Torrential rain lashed the Pakistani financial capital of Karachi on Thursday, causing widespread flooding as downpours in August shattered 89-year-old records for the city, meteorological officials said. People in Karachi were seen wading through knee-high water as cars were submerged and houses flooded on Thursday. Makeshift tents were built on the side of the road. Thursday marked the third day of heavy rain this week, during which at least 19 people have died, according to media, while residents have been forced to abandon their homes. पानी जब आ रहा था तो पीछे से उन लोगों ने बोला पानी आ रहा है मैं जब के उठा तो मैंने बोला भी जानवर निकालो मैं जानवर को निकालने के चक्कर में तो हमारे अब्बू पानी अब्बू ने बोला मैं भी आता मैंने बोला अब्बू तुम अंदर जाओ अब्बू हमारा अंदर गया एक हमारा अम्मा था अम्मा को भी मैंने अंदर किया दो मेरे भाई माजूर है माजूरों को अंदर किया तो जब मैंने देखा तो जानवर हमारे सब जा रहे हैं जानवरों के पीछे मैं चला तो मैं डूबने लगा मैं फिर बाहर निकला Provincial authorities were seen moving displaced families into school buildings as the military carried out rescue and relief operations. It has never rained as much in August, according to the country's chief meteorological officer, Sardar Sarfaraz. Some 484 mm of rain had fallen this month, 130 mm on Thursday alone. यहाँ पे तकरीबन जितने हमारे पास जो दियाती हैं वो सारे डूब गए हैं इनको हमने रात को रेस्क्यू करके स्कूल में पना दी थी हमारे पास एक मैयत हुआ था रात को वो मैयत पाँच बजे से लेके रात के बारह बजे तक हमारे कानों में थी हमें तदफीन के लिए जगह नहीं मिल रहा था मीन वाइल द क्राइसिस लाइक सिचुएशन लेड सिंध प्रोविंस चीफ मिनिस्टर मुराद अली शाह टू अनाउंस अ पब्लिक हॉलीडे फॉर फ्राइडे Moving on, persons with disabilities in Gilgit Baltistan have blamed discrimination against them in government jobs and educational institutions in the illegally occupied region. They have claimed they are not given reservation benefits due to rampant corruption. Persons with disabilities in Gilgit Baltistan have alleged discrimination against them in jobs and educational institutions in the illegally occupied region. They have claimed the policies which are made for their welfare are never implemented by the bureaucracy. And when it comes to the reservation, 45% of people have falsely declared that they have disabilities and have taken up the government jobs, while the deserving candidates still remain unemployed, which highlights the rampant corruption. उनके लिए चाहे वो गवर्नमेंट के ऑफिसेस हों, चाहे वो दुकानें मार्केटें हों, या चाहे वो मसाजिद इमाम बारगाह हैं, इबादत गाहें हों, उन तमाम तक माजूर अफ़राद की रसाई अभी भी मुमकिन नहीं है, वो नहीं जा पाते। फिर शासन यहाँ पे एजुकेशन का मसला अभी भी उसी तरह बरकरार है। गिलगित बल्तिस्तान Despite several protests to demand their basic rights, authorities continue to ignore their plight. Activists claim that this is because Pakistan, which controls the stooge government in the region, treats Gilgit Baltistan as its colony and denies fundamental rights to locals with no honor accorded to them. In news from Afghanistan, at least 122 people were killed, over 200 others injured and several went missing in torrential floods in Afghanistan's 12 eastern provinces, officials said on Thursday. The search for missing bodies under rubble was underway for the third day after floods swept the Charikar city in worst-hit central province of Parwan. Grieving relatives gathered around excavators sifting through rubble on Thursday after flash floods in Afghanistan killed more than 122 people and destroyed more than 1,500 houses. Torrential rain earlier in the week triggered flash floods that ravaged large parts of Parwan province. Some 85 people were killed and 110 others injured Tuesday night in the worst heat Parwan province. The flood had receded in the province by Thursday but the roads were still muddy. Collapsed houses and damaged vehicles could be seen everywhere. Mali or the Sestodas in Jay Selomodas in Finanjay Kistodas in Hone, Hosorumas, Barters Hone, Hodom, Yarizim, Motazar, Matazona, Hosorum, Shaichu, the Sechorta Zahmi Andor, the Yamuntazir, Komakam Kori, Mardun Maso to Horiji, 
کلانای ما بزرگای ما ولی سه دیگه نیمی مردم ما. Amidst the rescue efforts, the Taliban fighters killed four civilians who were fleeing areas hit by the devastating floods during clashes with Afghan forces on Thursday. Meanwhile, the prospects of peace talks between Afghan government and insurgent group looks bleak over the issue of releasing a last batch of Taliban prisoners. Though Abdullah Abdullah, chairman of the High Council for National Reconciliation, said Afghan officials were ready to hold talks with the Taliban from early September. Reports suggest that Taliban's lead negotiator rejected the claim. Bangladesh has announced it has given approval to late-stage trial of a potential COVID-19 vaccine developed by China in the hope of being a priority recipient for the jab. The approval comes after Bangladesh earlier this month said it was also ready to hold trials of potential COVID-19 vaccines developed by India as it seeks to stem the spread of the pandemic. Bangladesh Health Minister Zahid Malik on Thursday said his country has approved a late-stage trial of a potential COVID-19 vaccine developed by China Sinovac Biotech Limited in the hope of being a priority recipient for the jab. The State Medical Research Agency of Dhaka had given ethical approval to the Phase 3 trial last month and now the government has signed off on the research. The approval comes after Bangladesh earlier this month said it was also ready to hold trials of the potential COVID-19 vaccines developed by India as it seeks to stem the spread of the pandemic. According to health officials, the vaccine trial which will start soon in Bangladesh, will involve 4,200 volunteers and half of them will be vaccinated. Bangladesh has of Friday confirmed 304,583 coronavirus cases with 4,127 deaths. Indonesia and Brazil are also helping with the Phase 3 trial as Sinovac has been looking for volunteers outside China where the number of coronavirus cases has dwindled. Schools across India are struggling to teach online as the coronavirus pandemic forces them to stay shut. But an open-air school in the scenic Dood Patri or the Valley of Milk in India's Jammu and Kashmir has come as a breather for students to catch up on their studies amid no access to internet facilities in the remote area. Students in a scenic remote town of India's Jammu and Kashmir who have no access to internet facilities are attending open-air classes to catch up on their studies after schools were closed following the coronavirus outbreak five months ago. Students in Dood Patri, which means Valley of Milk, now have an open lush green field as classroom, where boxes have been drawn to maintain distance and teachers conduct lessons against the backdrop of the Himalayas under a crystal blue sky. Schools have been shut across India since late March to curb the coronavirus spread, leaving millions of children whose families cannot afford expensive devices with no access to education. We have online class is liye dhe nahi parte kyunki hamare mohalle mein jo bhi log hai wo wo bahut gareeb hai isliye wo smartphone nahi khareed sakte isliye humko ye online classes nahi dekh sakte de sakte hamare liye wo hum hamare paas wo facilities nahi hai hum online classes de sakte Students have had it worse in far flung areas of the Kashmir Valley where telecom networks are poor the academic year was also disrupted last year after the abrogation of special status of the region and its division into two union territories. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. Protests erupt in India against engineering and medical entrance exams amid pandemic. India slams Pakistan for evading responsibility for Pulwama terror attack. And rescue efforts continue in flood hit Afghan province. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAJNewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAJNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. 
subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button